<laughs> so yes what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be learning how to keep a very simple but professional poster that can be used to promote any corporate event okay and that's what we are going to be doing today what you see on my screen is exactly what i'm going to be teaching you how to make in today's video so don't go anywhere look this is going to be easy and i think dedicating some few minutes of your time to learn this will actually do you a lot of good so let's dive straight into it Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, I think subscribing to this channel automatically makes you an OG. And if you don't know who an OG is, an OG is anyone who returns to my channel and watches any of my other videos. And yes, to all the OGs watching, a big salute to you. I really appreciate you for the continued support. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva. Alright, so this is what we are going to be creating. You can see it's very, very easy. Oh, you can't see the whole thing even already okay so this is what we are going to be creating all i'll do is i'll click on add a new page add a new page yes and this is what we have at the moment okay so this is the color of the background so that you can follow accurately so it's one c one seven four b that's the color for the background and the first thing we are going to be doing is to be adding some textures to our design okay so to do this we are just going to head into photos okay and in photos we'll just come into c or no i would actually have to go into images okay so that i can pull up the the ones i use and i'll just also show you the names and you can just search for that in canva all right all right so i'll just go down a little bit because i've been doing a lot of designs in canva recently so there are so many recently used images in here okay so let me just speed up okay the first one you have to search for is black background modern dark abstract texture okay so i'll click on it and add it the second one you have to add is the wall texture background okay the third one you have to add is abstract sapphire blue background with grunge marble texture okay so these are the three main textures we are going to be adding okay so you can add any of them first but i think i'll start with this all right center it and i would crop it like this all right then come into your transparency and reduce this to maybe somewhere like 20 percent okay which i think is cool or you can take it down to 15 all right then we add our sapphire background in here i don't know if i'm pronouncing the name correctly but let me know in the comment section what's the pronunciation and i don't even know how you're going to let me know how it's pronounced don't try it focus <laughs> yeah so we come here and i'll just choose transparency and also choose 20 percent for it and you can see how it's looking let me increase uh -huh, so that maybe you can really see what we are doing i'll bring this to the front and position this one also over here and i'll center it i'm trying to do this manually okay but it's not making sense so i'll come to position and center okay then i'll just uh do this and and yeah then i come to transparency and transparency i just choose 20 percent as well so this is what we have at the moment now that you have done that the next thing we are going to do is to add our images our subject images or these can be images of your guests okay so let's do that so in um, my recently used i just decided to search for man in black suit smiling at the camera okay so i'll just add this and some of these images i use were free in canva so if you're on the free version of canva you can so use them if you're on the pro version of canva you know there are just so many um, images you can find and use but for those using the free version of canva look i don't think it's really advisable sticking to the free version of canva when you can start using the pro version of canva for free okay and i'm here to let you know that you can do it there's a link in the description box below that can help you to start using canva pro for free today so why don't you check it out click on the link just get everything sorted out and bounce back to this video okay so yeah that's the first news i have for you there's a second one which will come at the latter part of the video all right all right so i would come into you know just search for three two more images i would be using okay and i think i just have to scroll all the way to the top because i use them again so we have this gentleman and this gentleman okay yeah okay so i use four images and i add this one as well so these are the images okay now that we have selected our images the next thing we are going to do is to remove the background of our images so let's do that i'll come i'll just have to select my photo okay then come into photos into edit photo and choose bg remover okay i'm not going to edit this part out of the video because sometimes when i'm editing my videos i just remove a lot of m and r and <laughs> so i'll just leave this one <laughs> 
yeah so i'll just do the same for this choose this one remove choose this remove okay and you can see this is one thing we would want all of our image to have like the same appearance in terms of the size and how the image is looking so we are going to crop all the images to the elbow or to the chest area and increase the size okay so that's what we are going to do so i'll crop this one to the elbow and this one also to the elbow this one also to the elbow and we have this gentleman also over here to the elbow okay so that's what we've done at the moment i will you know just make sure it's cropped correctly and that's one thing you need to also do and now increase the size and position him here bring him up okay increase the size and also crop the image you know the unwanted part of the image just crop it out bring this guy increase the size and i'll crop this down and bring this here and you can see what we have over here all right all right then this one as well increase the size okay and i think yeah this this guy looks taller no 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 so i reduce him a little bit all right then you know arrange them nicely okay in a way that makes sense all right so i wouldn't want this guy to be you know away sort of so i'll come to flip okay now flipping you know, i'll flip him horizontally okay and this is lovely put him here and uh, we have the second man let me call this a little bit and i'll choose the second man and bring him here okay and maybe in front then the third man can also come in front of him no 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 the third man can also be here and the fourth man can and the and the fourth man can also come here or can also go behind him like that okay then we'll just select all of them so i will select this one okay and select this one behind and i'll use shift okay to select all of them together and i can reduce the size just a little bit and make sure they are all positioned properly okay so something like this i believe it's cool then we can select our textures and move it to the top as well now that we have this the next thing we are going to do is to blend this area out okay so press r on the keyboard position it just right on top over here and stretch it out okay then come into the colors choose the same color you use for the background and click on it again come to gradient ingredient come into the second color and choose transparency and you know, slide it to you know zero percent okay then choose the linear gradient come to position and with the routine just do it 180 okay as simple as that so you can see what we have at the moment we've blended everything out beautifully so now the next thing we have to do is to add our text okay we are going to do this in like in a very simple way in a very creative way as well okay so i'll press out on my keyboard for a shape positioner here and for me i'll just assume this is going to be a countdown flyer okay so i can come into color and in color i can just just choose red first okay then you know right now i think one of the issues is you have to click away and go into colors again before you see your color then come into gradient and i will just you know apply some gradient so the second color would be maybe purple okay now add a third color which can be blue because gradient is simply a transition from one color to the other and that's what we've done over here okay so i will just leave it like this and i'll come over here okay then maybe i can add a fourth color all right so something like like this if you want okay so you see but here we use just two colors okay so which means that i'm going back to remove them i just wanted to explain the gradient to you okay so i can take this out and this out and this color is already looking nice but we can move it more into the green or into the blue depending on where you want because the green is next to the lighter blue over here and this deeper blue is also next to it so the transition is smooth okay all right so this is what we have then we come to the border style i will come to the rounding and i'll choose maybe five for it okay and you can see what we have over here then with the text i'll just you know i think the text there's no way to explain how to add text just press t on your keyboard okay and you should be able to add some text to your design and yeah it is what it is so that's what we have over here and with the remaining things i think to make things very easy i'll just be copying and pasting okay just so that we don't spend so much time on this okay so i would come into executive all of this i'll just copy in fact let me add the icon so i'll copy everything over here copy and paste it okay because it's nothing new so if i don't think it's anything that's special okay so yeah then what i'm going to do is uh maybe let me just explain this with the conference i just added a shape and applied the conference to so the first style i used in terms of the four gradients i did red to purple to blue that's what i did on this one then the next thing i did was i just had to slap you know some text to it and yeah that was it then the next thing i'm going to do is to just edit our photos a little bit okay so this I'm going to do is select your first photo come to a 
edit photo and we are going to go into adjust so with the tint because it's bluish we are going to slide it more to the blue side okay that's with the temperature the tint you know will just boost it a little bit so you can see what we have at the moment with the brightness i'll reduce it slightly increase the contrast a little bit and the highlight should go up to eight you know just something smooth the vibrant should go up a little bit and now that we've done this right click come to copy style paste okay so you can see what we've done and the background has come back so you just come back and take the background off okay then right click come to copy style and paste okay then take it off right click come to the copy style and paste take it off you know just to give our image a vibe okay yeah so now the last thing i you know last but one thing i did was to add their names okay so i'll just copy and paste it over here which is something very easy now the last thing we want to do is we want to add some sort of light in the back okay so what you can do is go to the elements.theafricangeeks.com and search for light okay when you find it download it upload it in canva and do what i'm about to show you all right all right so i will come also into my uploads and there are so many things i have in here but i will scroll all the way down then i add it so this is it i'll click to add it and you can see what we have at the moment i'll make the size bigger position it here in the center i'll crop it like this crop it like that okay then i will crop it like this and and bring this one here it should hit on the cutout part of it then come into edit photo choose blur okay then the intensity just increase it so that it becomes blurry like that and what you need to do is to send it to the background so right click come to layer come to layer show layers and you can see we have it over here so i will send it all the way to the back of all the gentlemen and kaboom ba, 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 ba. this is what we have at the moment oh my god wow so you can see we have done the same thing inside of canva and yeah this is how i made it in canva if you also don't have the time to use this another thing you can also do is you can also find the template of this particular design we have made in canva so the link is also in the description box below if you found this helpful why don't you consider liking this video commenting what you think about it and yes the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity here are two extra videos you can watch on my channel and yes i will see you in my next video Ain't know what it costs, huh? I hit the ground.